Hi, Aqua and Yang. All right, so let's get started with your reading. Let's see what's going to be anything significant that will be happening for you, towards you, for the rest of the week, okay? It's going to be a short reading. I don't have that much time, guys. I have to get everybody's reading out today, um, but I'm going to make sure that you guys get your reading, at least by today. And then I think later I'll be going live. If you want to join me live, I'll be doing the all signs reading. I don't know what kind of all signs reading I'll be doing yet, but we'll figure it out. All right, so let's see. Anything significant happening for or towards my aquas for this week? very interesting okay you guys are getting some of the same same cards as capricorn so maybe some of you guys are dealing with a capricorn or you have capricorn in your chart or the person who's significant in your life right now could be capricorn or have capricorn in their chart i don't know we start off with the nine of wands okay so this lets me know that some boundaries need to go up between you and someone or or you're going to enforce this later on this week okay because if someone just won't stop coming for you the nine of wands okay so this we have this very persistent person this person doesn't understand the, the word no or the meaning of no or it seems like they don't but they do but they just kind of like to have their way and they keep coming towards you right so it's an in and out i feel like you have rejected this person before and it's like they keep coming back asking for the same thing and it's like the answer is still no so there goes that with the Knight of Wands, with the Ten of Pentacles, someone is like consistent here, okay? If someone's nonstop or someone's offering you a lot or someone could be family with this Ten of Pentacles, so it's hard to repetitively, repetitively tell them no. So, for example, if this is family, it's like, you know, they know that you're only going to say like no once or twice, but they know if they keep asking because you guys are family, then you'll finally cave in or give in. Or if this is someone who has a lot of money here, it's like they use their money against people to try to bribe them. Also get this could be like a long term lover. Like say you were a you and this person have been together for a long time or you guys have a lot of history, you were this friend or this lover. It's like they use that against you. And you have the ten of swords, it seems like you're always losing out or this person doesn't give you the same benefits. So it's like why would you put down your boundary for this person when they don't do the same for you with this ten of swords? Also, someone could also use their traumas against you with that Ten of Swords. So they could say, oh, you know, like my ex did this and that's why I'm the way I am. Or they'll say like, you know, if this is a family member, they'll say like, you know, someone's not in my life anymore. Like someone could have passed on and this is why I'm the way I am. Like someone uses their traumas against people, right? But then they always feel, they always come back with the Knight of Cups like, Oh, I'm just doing this because I love you. Or I don't know. I don't know who this is, what the situation is. It could be very different for a lot of aquas here. But I feel like you're kind of tired of someone using excuses to get over on you. But this person shows up like it's all love, Knight of Cups. Or you do love to love this person, Aqua. But you're tired of them pushing your boundaries. And they won't stop with that Knight of Wands. They keep coming. Like someone... Excuse me, someone's trying to just get their wish fulfillment with you, Seven of Cups, or have it their way, and it's like it's not giving that. I don't know. What's the Nine of Wands, please? So you put mm, Nine of Pentacles in reverse. You had to put boundaries up against this person because this person comes off very codependent, but they don't have good intentions. So it's always like someone trying to get over on someone, someone who can't be self-reliant, you know? This is someone like if they if they have an issue in their life and they could have been the cause of that issue, instead of trying to figure it out on their own, they bring that burden over to other people or they're always like with their handout or something like that. Like someone here is very like, um, they're not independent at all. And you see how this like is left at the crime scene or whatever. Someone always leaves evidence that they are just being on some shady shit. They're always getting caught or something like that. Okay, so what is this situation all about? Four of Cups, okay? Also, someone refuses to... Excuse me. I'm a little tired, guys. Someone refuses to see, like, um, 
the issues that they have or why they keep getting themselves in these predicaments or why they keep losing out in life or something like that. This is like someone you can't tell nothing to because they don't ever see them themselves being the root of the problem, but they are the root of the problem. So someone here kind of ignores the signs that God gives them like, hey, maybe it's you or they never place the blame on themselves, but they should because they're the ones who get themselves in these issues a lot of the times. Okay. All right, so let's see. And then also, too, I feel like you and this person have fell out before with the Ten of Swords. But you always forgive them or you're always looking, you're always looking to be very um, loyal to this person to, to a fault. And But it's like even after you guys do make up, you still need your time away from this person. Like you still feel like, ugh, I, I could have been better off if we weren't talking still. All right, what's the Knight of Wands? So this person's coming in really fast. What do they want from Aqua? All right, five of wands. So they're coming in with some kind of drama or conflict that they're going through. There's a lot of people upset with this person. They're going to come in and they're not going to take accountability or responsibility. They're just going to kind of say, I don't know why all these people are upset with me, okay? <laughs> what did this person do to cause that? Like, what's up? Two of pentacles in reverse. Um, Kind of like not, okay, this person could have been, hmm. It's like something with their responsibilities someone has let go on or the strength card is here too. Huh. There's someone here, like, I don't understand what this is. The Empress. Okay, someone could be all about themselves. So selfish. So kind of like how they are with you possibly because we have the Nine of Wands where why you have boundaries that you're setting up with this person. Someone just kind of takes and doesn't give. They don't really try to see the other side of things with the Two of Pentacles in reverse and with the strength card. They, with the strength card with the Empress, it's like this person kind of holds back from doing for others, or this could even be like owing people stuff, like not paying people back or not feeling like they need to because they have this God complex with the Empress. Okay, so it could be a feminine for some of you Aquas coming towards you. All right, what's the Ten of Pentacles? So what is going on with that? Like, what's the... Ooh, okay. Queen of Swords. Definitely could be a feminine here. Nine of Swords, Page of Wands. Okay, so someone may ask for a favor. Like, hey, do you think you could um loan me this? Can I borrow this until, you know, I get paid my next paycheck? But it's a, it's a large sum of money. And they're very entitled to it. Queen of Swords or this person's like asking you. Like, they're like, you've never seen someone be like upset when they come to you. But they're but not they're not upset with you, but they're so upset, but they do that like like in a shady way. Like they do it so that you don't ask any questions. You know, I don't know how to explain it. It's like someone comes to you so upset or so mad or mean, but they're not mad or mean or upset with you, but they're mad at whatever situation that they're trying to ask for your help for. But so that you don't ask questions about it, they kind of come off very cold or distant, this Queen of Swords. This could also be you, Aquarius. If you're a feminine, like, you, whatever favor this person is coming to ask you, you don't want to help them. Like, you know deep down you shouldn't help them. You're really in your head about this. But you be also being the humanitarian, Aqua, it's hard for you to turn down people, especially if you have a history with them or if they're your family or friends. So, Nine of Swords, I feel like, hmm, what else? Yeah, the tower. It's like something, something just came crashing down on this person they're coming and asking you for a large sum of money or they're coming and asking you things because they feel like you guys have our family or y'all are friends or y'all just have history like that but um i feel like deep down you don't want to help this person okay so then the ten of swords what's the ten of swords magician okay so this really crushes somebody's like if you if you do turn this person down which i do feel like you are going to it's like magician like i guess their way of trying to manipulate the situation or whatever they're trying to manifest which was the money out of you or the help out of you if it didn't work if they're gonna act like it's like the like the worst thing in the world so this person may catch an attitude with you or they may feel like you know you guys can never be friends because of this even though you're just turning them down about something a favor that they're asking you can't do right now i don't know what else this is give me you had a death card. They act like it's like the end of the situation or they act like they're done with this situation. What is this? This is so too much. You had a nine of cups because someone has like this selfish energy where it's like, you know, they're not thinking about what you, the money that you have in your pocket could be for you and your family or your responsibilities or your goals, your manifestations. 
someone's kind of thinking all for themselves. Empress, Nine of Cups, where it's like, I can't believe, you know, Aquarius turned me down, a death card. All right, so we have the Nine of Cups here. What's the Nine of Cups? I don't understand how that, okay. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. And what's the, what's the, what's going to be like the aftermath of that? The Sun card. You know what's crazy? It's like someone was buttering you up just to see if they could get this lump sum from you or this big commitment out of you, but you turned them down. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. It's like, no, I'm not going to. What's crazy is that's going to bring you a lot of happiness to know that you weren't finessed by this person or to know that, you know, you could stand up for yourself with that nine of wands. Like you didn't let your guard down for this person. You were kind of like, you know what, I'm going to say no because that's how I truly feel it makes you feel happy you feel happier than what you would have felt if you would have gave this person something what else clarify the sun yeah the ace of cups you feel like wow I stayed true to myself or I showed myself self-love by staying true to myself and saying no to this person by rejecting them so there's a sense of self-love where you're really like appreciating yourself for staying true to what you really believe when it comes to this person with the nine of wands who's always in and out or who always comes back and asks you for favors all right so now we have the seven of cups what is that about Hermit. So this person goes ghost or you don't hear from them or, you know, you don't hear from them for a while after this. You learn, yeah, the seven of cups. This person was only trying to get what they wanted out of me. They see me as wish fulfillment. Now that they don't feel like they can get what they want out of me, hermit. Now they're like ghosts or they're going ghost. Three of wands, you will hear from them again in the future. And what will this person have to say to Aqua? Five of Pentacles in reverse, Three of Cups in reverse. It's something about how this person may say, this person may come up to you even though they ghosted you after you, okay, after you say no to this person or whoever rejects who is gonna, whoever gets rejected is gonna go ghost, right? But in the future, this person is gonna come out of that um, energy to emerge and say the Five of Pentacles in reverse, like, you know, um, It's like, I don't know, it's, <laughs> it's like this person will say like, oh, you didn't want to help me, we must not really be cool like that, three of cups, or we must not really be friends, or you must not be fucking with me, like some dumb shit. It's just kind of like stupid. Three of swords, they're going to come out of um, not speaking or hermit mode just to tell you how much you hurt them or how disappointed they were or how stabbed in the back they felt because you didn't help them, but I think you know this person's motive. <sighs> I don't even know. Why would this come up? <laughs> like, <laughs> why would this reading come up? Like, I don't understand. I'm going to pull one more card to see who this person is, and then you'll know exactly who this person is, okay? But what the hell? Like, but this just sounds like a user. So I'll just say that. I'm just going to say that. It sounds like a user. All right, so tell me about this person, Aqua. Who is this person in your reading? Tell me, who is this person? Give me some clear-cut answers. The judgment. It's already someone that you fell out with before, and they've asked you for forgiveness before. They could have just recently asked you for forgiveness, and now they're already coming in and act, trying to use you or trying to ask you for some money. The Fool card, you have a hard time trusting this person, but you do it anyway. The World card, this could be someone who's at a distance from you. This could be someone who travels a lot. Maybe they're asking you for money to go traveling. This person sees you as the king of pentacles or the queen of pentacles, so they feel like you got it, all right? So someone could have asked you for money for traveling or they said that they're going traveling. I don't know, or this could be the excuse that they're using with the world card. This, so, this also could be someone from a different culture than you. Yeah, the six of cups. You and this person break up to make up, even if it's just friends or family. It's like they come in and out of your life, six of cups. This could also be someone who's been at a distance physically like literally they've been in a different town different state but they're going to be in your city soon and they're going to ask you for some kind of favor and you're going to have to either you're going to have to make a decision about what you want to do with that okay all right so let's get the emojis for the situation all right give me some emojis please for my Aquarius is dealing with the situation okay I have the emoji with the with the guy who has his hands like this. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. 
Is someone into yoga or stretching? Is someone doing this? Like, you know when you're like kind of just tired and you have to put your hand over your head that you're just like, ugh, I'm so annoyed. This could also be like, you don't want to hear this person. They talk too loud or they talk too much. Because I do have like the loud um, amphitheater speaker. So someone's just really loud with their share. They play loud music. Also, someone doesn't have transportation right now. They don't have a way to getting to and from places. So it could be something about traveling while they're asking you for this a lot of money. Also, this person could be a good kisser for those of you who are romantic with this person. Or they, they their lips, something about their lips are really sexy. Or they wear red lipstick or red lip gloss. Or they always got their lips. Maybe someone's trying to get their lips done, like filler. <laughs> Sorry. And there's a red flag. And, you know, red flags mean caution or, you know, be careful of this person or something's not right with this person. So here's your emojis for this person. All right, here's your emojis. All right, let's get the last words for whoever this person is. Give me the last words, please, Spirit, for whoever this person is. For my aquas, dealing with the situation, give me some last words, please. Give me some last words. Okay, we have bisexuals. Maybe this person is bisexual or maybe you are. I have no plans on changing. We have I'm single. Taurus. Not letting you go. Okay. We have plotting against you, which is the seven of swords in my deck. So be careful. This person is just not all the way there. Or they just kind of like, you know, whatever. They're just not... Be cautious. Red flags, right? I love your cooking. Saggy the unicorn could be a Sagittarius. Drugs is here. So something with drugs. No, no, um, no judgment, okay? We also have marijuana. So maybe the drug choice is marijuana or weed or, you know, someone could be a dealer here for sure. Anyway, guys... Love you so much. Um, like the video, comment down below if it resonated. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on your next reading. Um, I do have a store. You can shop jewelry, candles, smudges, um, aromatherapy, body care, lip gloss. I am wearing the color um, Cherry Quartz right now. This is what it looks like. That's what I have on my lips right now from my website. The link is in the description box if you're interested. Um, I also do personal readings if you're interested. Link in the description box down below. Love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, bye-bye.